You know, I've been in this launching game for a minute now, and let me tell you, the landscape of product launches have changed so, so many times, but there's one thing that has remained constant, which is every guru or everybody that you know will tell you that anticipation is the best recipe when it comes to launching. They tell you that you need to create buzz, you need to create hype, you need to create excitement before you launch. But is anticipation really the best recipe for launching? Let's dive into it, shall we? And to spice things up a little bit, I'm going to look at two queens of the music industry. We're going to look at Beyonce and we're going to look at Rihanna. So let's start with Beyonce. Remember when she dropped her self-titled album in 2013, Beyonce? You know, that album that just came in out of nowhere. And also remember recently she dropped her country album, which was Cowboy Carter. And how... We didn't hear about it until it dropped. We didn't hear too much about it. And Beyonce's strategy is minimal anticipation, maximum impact. She's like that friend who says I'll be there in five minutes and actually shows up in four minutes. There's no long drawn teasers. There's no cryptic social media posts. There's no, you know, I'm about to launch, anticipate. There's no drama on Twitter or anything. She just drops. And you know what? It works for her. It has worked for 2013 Beyonce album. It has worked for it has worked for Beyonce. But now let's flip the script and talk about Rihanna. Rihanna's the queen of is she or isn't she when it comes to album launches. Her last album was Anti in 2016, and fans have been on the edge since then. You know, every time you see Rihanna, Rihanna's playing a different game. She has mastered the art of anticipation. I don't know if she's doing this willingly because every time you see Rihanna, it's like, is the album coming? Is the album coming? We saw her on the Super Bowl. Everybody's like, oh, the album's coming. It didn't come. We see her like do a ref. We see her do something. You're like, the album's coming. But it's not coming. It's like she's got uh, the palm of her hands and we are loving every minute of it. Like the anticipation of Rihanna's next album is something totally totally different but here's where it gets very interesting both of these strategies are very different beyonce's and rihanna's and both has worked beyonce's surprise album will create an instant buzz it will create a cultural moment and have everyone talking rihanna on the other hand who hasn't dropped yet but there's so much anticipation around her album so there's a lesson here is anticipation really the secret sauce or not? Well, let me tell you a little story. There was a time that I was launching. There was a time that I launched before I knew the game. And I did all of this stuff, you know, did all the anticipation, did all of these things. But I didn't sell as much as I wanted to. And now it's made me realize that I was Rihanna before I earned the right to be Rihanna. That's when I learned something very crucial. The power of anticipation isn't in the waiting itself. It's in what you do during the wait. Let me explain. Beyonce might not have long lead up to her albums, but she's already proven herself with her hit singles and her hit albums. She's built a connection with her audience. She's built, you know, credibility with her previous albums and everything. Rihanna, on the other hand, she spent years cultivating her brand, getting into fashion and beauty. She's kept herself in the public eye with every move. So the anticipation works because she's Rihanna, not because of the anticipation itself. So is anticipation the best recipe for launching? The answer is it depends. Anticipation can be a powerful tool, but it's not a magic wand. It's like seasoning. You use it right and it enhances everything. You use it wrong, you've ruined the dish. So the real recipe for a successful launch isn't anticipation, it's value, it's connection, it's understanding your audience so well that when you surprise them like Beyonce or you tease them like Rihanna, they are here for it. Remember, we're in a new economy. Everything has changed. Attention is the real economy. I'm right here trying to get your attention to watch this video, you know, like, comment and subscribe and all of that. And you don't get that attention through anticipation alone. You get it by being worth paying attention to. So even if it's Rihanna or Beyonce style that you want to adopt, all I want you to do is that make sure that you build your tribe. If you're about to launch, make sure whatever you're about to sell, you deliver value. Make sure that you are authentic. That's all I wanted to say today. Your audience are waiting for you. I want you to go wow them.